So I've done this a few times on my Instagram account, but this will be the first time on YouTube as a video. And it's basically that, that bit that we all get to at some point in the middle of the week when we've just got bits and pieces left and what are we going to make from it. So let's have a look in the fridge. A lot of healthy stuff in there considering I'm quite a porker. That's a uh, vegetable oil. What have we got? Some peppers. Some stray carrot. Two stray carrots. Uh, and we've got some potatoes. And we've got the kale from yes, that is me. And I've got some Linda McCartney stuff and corn stuff. So I'm thinking potato based sort of stewy thing based around potatoes and sausages I think but first I've got to do the washing up from yesterday <laughs> righty ho washing up done all the stuff put away I love my hanging rack it's one of my favourite bits of the kitchen we'll cover that another day anyway yeah I suppose we better start Let's get the stuff out of the fridge. That's going to go Straight carrot. And then these spuds. Ooh, another spud. Right, uh, which one of my glorious knives shall be using today? Ah, I love my knives. A couple of quid, but they're pretty sharp most of the time. Anyway, lots of chopping to be done, and then we'll start. Right, all chopped up, ready to go. Got some onions there as well. I've kind of roughly chopped everything up fairly small. Left the skin off the potatoes as I like. You know, as long as you wash them, they're fine. Did I mention that today is going to be vegan? As I understand. And the Linda McCartney's sausages in our vegan. And we're going to be working with this beauty today. I'm an absolutely cruiser obsessive. I mean, all of their stuff's amazing. I've got all, almost all my cooking stuff is the cruiser now. Thinking about what I've got out of the fridge earlier, I don't think the peppers are going to work in today's dish. Because it's still going to melt down and be a potato y, carroty, soupy thing. I think the peppers will take it in the wrong direction. Anyway, let's start. So, unlike a lot of things I do, there's no garlic in this one today. There are a few onions. I'm actually going to fry them up, just soften them a little bit. And then we'll go in with the potatoes and carrots. Tell you something, if you want to see Mark in his happy place, it's me constantly stirring things in an set for hours. Onions are about right on the softening thing. Right. Just do me one hand throwing again. And all the potatoes and all the carrots in there. Did I want garlic or I want to change my mind on the garlic fruit? No, I think it's fine. Mm. It's half decent stock in the garlic. Uh, I'll be for a few minutes. So, I started softening these things there. Now here's something. Anybody who owns one of these pots will recognise this. Maybe here. It does burn a little bit more than the pot I was using yesterday. It's more non-stick. But then... This is where the chefs talk about deglazing the pan. So, got the first half a litre of stock. Turn the heat down a little bit. You see it's already starting to come off. And that flavour will go into the sauce. Interesting whether that actually adds anything to it rather than a non-stick pan where you don't get those burns in the first place. Oh well. Right, 
15 minutes or so later, things are starting to soften up and burn. Not quite ready for the, I won't say finely chopped kale, but it's a bit more chopped than it was yesterday. But I think it's probably time to start cooking the sausages. Red onion first. Vegetarian sausages. Do they not actually taste of anything? No. The red onion, the other ones are just vegetarian. Oh well. We'll see how they cook up over the next few minutes. Right, so I put the lid on the frying pan. It seems to help sausages cook a bit better. Are we ready for cow yet? No. We probably are ready for a touch of salt. And uh, mixed herbs. Not normally a fan of mixed herbs, it's like using curry powder. It's best to get the individual ones. But in this case, it doesn't actually work. A little dashy poo. We need that to cook for another few minutes. Kale time. I know what I need, not a tripod. I need all those gropo things that looks like you're carrying a baby. That'll do. Anyway, we've got to soften this. Softening well. Still going to take another few minutes. Got the sausages, they're doing all right. They're not actually burnt, they're just well cooked in places. Quite hard to cook them all the way through, isn't it? Unless you grill them, yeah. Grill them next time. Anyway. A little bit of almond to put in there. I have to confess that when I ordered this almond, I thought it was a plant cream, uh, and it wasn't. So anybody doing the vegan thing use the plant cream, and this isn't. Ah, I found it. That's the plant cream. Look at that now. Tell you what, I was, I was going to get my stick blender out and make this more soupy. But I just tried it a minute ago. And it tastes gorgeous with like, the bits in. Oh God, yeah, that's gonna be good. I think I'll just put the sausages in now and finish off. So the finished product. The sauce tastes absolutely gorgeous. That Alpro soya cream was just, ooh, lovely. Unfortunately, and no matter how you cook them, and I'd completely forgotten about this, Linda McCartney sausages do taste a little bit like chewing on toilet roll. Oh well, the sauce will see us through. Take care. See you next time.